special time in our lives. What time is it? Oh, I've been waiting for this. It's time for TK's Tweet of the Week. <laughs> yeah. bum bum. TK, what do you got for us today? This comes from Billy Chapata at I am B-R-I-L-L-Y-A-N-T. All right, here we go. TK's Tweet of the Week, courtesy of Billy Chapata. Sometimes the emptiness you feel is just your spirit telling you to come back home to yourself, telling you to commit more time to you, telling you to find melodies that your heart enjoys beating to again, telling you to stop leaving love for yourself unattended. We've been talking a lot about emptiness recently on this podcast and trying to reframe, give some perspective here. And I like this is additional perspective because quite often the emptiness that we experience is not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. We've been sold a meme that says we need to fill the void. Yeah, You're feeling empty. But of course, empty isn't a bad thing. In fact, you look at the room here around us, it's relatively empty. It's not completely empty. It has everything that we need. We're not going without. And I think what happens quite often is we confuse that open space with going without. What happens when you buy a 4,000 square foot home? You feel compelled to fill every corner, every nook, every cranny with stuff. Mm. Nothing wrong with the things, but anytime we're buying something just to fill an empty space, it's actually saying something about what's going on inside us. Mm. I feel incomplete, and this incomplete home is mm -hmm. merely an extension of mm -hmm. my own incompleteness. Mm -hmm. No. You are complete in an empty room, in an empty home, and you can fill the space with things that enhance your life, that magnify mm. your life, that amplify your life, that add value to your life. But if you're compelled just because an advertiser or a peer or society told you that you have an empty house and you got to fill it with stuff, well, you're going to keep feeling empty. The stuff mm. will merely widen the void now. Mm. Yeah. It, that clutter, the void is filled with excess stuff, excess books, excess relationships, excess obligations, excess things in our lives that don't complete us. If anything, they incomplete us. Let's go back to the tweet itself. Mm. Will you read the first line one more time? Sometimes the emptiness you feel it's just your spirit telling you to come back home to yourself. Mm. Isn't it interesting? Like that empty feeling, I think everyone gets it at a certain point. And it's so hard to, for me to decide whether or not it's a legitimate empty feeling or um, if, if it's uh, something that I need to embrace. So what I mean by the legit legitimacy of it is, is there something that I'm missing in my life right now? So when I start to feel empty like that, I look at, um, I look at my values and I'm like, okay, what do I value? You know, here, here are the foundational values that I have. And I kind of look at each one and I'm like, how am I doing in these areas? And, you know, you can kind of look at them like, uh, you know, buckets of sand or water and like the least empty bucket. That might be something that I want to focus on. But sometimes I look at those areas mm. and I'm like, no, I'm doing pretty good on these. Like, I don't know why I got this empty feeling. And that, you know, after looking at those foundational values, I can give myself permission to kind of just embrace the emptiness. I've been reading a lot about um, uh, the Sedona Method mm. recently. And man, like that is such a powerful book on helping you embrace and even let go of, of some of these emotions. And emptiness is one of those. Like it's, it's, it's again, like sometimes it's legitimate and you got to look at something. Other times you're just having a little empty feeling and that's okay. Like I, I like to make friends with the void when I can. You know? mm. I think the void mm. is only a void when we've actually done something to, in our own lives to create the void. Mm. I, I mm. don't know that it exists outside of that. What I mean by that is you'll feel empty if you have a ton of debt. And it's really pressuring you, right? Because now you're tethered to a lifestyle that creates a particular emptiness, mm -hmm. right? Or when I mm -hmm. was obese, there was an emptiness there. Like I, I felt devoid of health. Health is the default state. Health is simply an absence of disease or dysfunction, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so the default state is not empty. 
And I think that applies to all the areas in our lives. Mm. The house is not empty either, right? It is spacious. And then I can fill it with things that merely add value to my house, to my home, to my friends, to my community. Yeah. It's interesting when you say that we can't achieve fulfillment by filling our house with things. And I would say, and that's also true with respect to emptying our house of things. You can have an empty home and an empty soul. Mm. Because as we often say, minimalism isn't about the absence of things, but about the presence of meaning and intentionality Mm -hmm. in our engagement with all things. And so sometimes in our efforts to please others and our efforts to acquire fulfillment, we give away our time or we give away our stuff. But because we are giving without intentionality, we also give away our boundaries. And when we give away our boundaries, we give away our health, we give away our sanity. And that underlying sensation of emptiness is the soul's way of whispering to us, please come back. In your effort to get people to like you, you have lost the very essence of you. Mm -hmm. And there is no longer a me that even gets to enjoy the experience when other people like me. What good is it to be liked when you aren't even there to appreciate the experience of being liked because you gave away your essence, you gave away your authenticity, you gave away your health and your sanity. And that's what I love about Brother Billy's tweet. He's telling us, don't run from that emptiness. Don't condemn yourself for that that emptiness. Don't avoid it. Listen to it. Let it teach you. Let it call you back home to yourself and to your health and to your wellness, to your self-care. Did you enjoy this standalone Patreon highlight? If so, you can listen to full episodes of The Minimalist's private podcast available exclusively on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash The Minimalists or click the link in the description. Your support keeps our podcast and YouTube channel 100% advertisement free.